Welcome to a HodgePodge Australia Basic. Today I'm showing you how I make my sugar cookies. I am using plain flour, caster sugar, an egg, some salt, some butter and some vanilla essence. Now the whole recipe can be found in the description box below but let's give you a quick run through. First we want to cream our butter, sugar and salt together until it's lovely and night light and fluffy. <laughs> That's light and fluffy. So giving that a good beat, usually around the three to five minute mark, just keep an eye on it. When you're happy with the light and fluffiness of your butter, it is time to beat in the egg. So you're going to beat that through all together, keeping it moving all the time. So as you can see, I'm just slowed it down a little bit while I put the egg in because I don't want it splattering all over me. Then you can add in your vanilla essence once your egg has been beaten through. When you are happy with the mixture that it has all been combined so you don't have to do it for very long with the vanilla essence it doesn't take long to combine through the uh, the mixture there you can then slow down your bowl and you will add in your plain flour now you only want to mix the plain flour on a low speed basically folding it through the buttered mixture i have my puppy sitting by making sure i'm doing this properly but as you can see it's on a folded speed so nothing too much and you don't want to actually do this for very long at all just add in your flour keep it mixing until it's combined just so that when you stop it you can press it together with your fingers you don't want to over combine your sugar cookie mixture while i finish letting that mix just for a couple of minutes don't forget to subscribe to us here at hodgepodge australia we upload twice a week we put up cakes bakes and yummy makes so make sure you stay tuned to see what we're making with this sugar cookie recipe once you have finished with your mixture, it's time to return to your bench. You need two pieces of cling film or glad wrap, whichever way you call it, and you just want to separate your mixture into two lots, forming it into a ball and wrapping them up individually in your glad wrap. You will then put these into the fridge for at least half an hour, but I generally like to put them in for a couple of hours. And you know what? I actually like to make up a batch of these and just put them in the fridge for the next time I feel like making cookies. It's a great thing about this recipe. You do not have to use it straight away. I still have a disc in my fridge and I might make cookies later on. Who knows? It's where the wind takes me. Anyway, pop it in the fridge and let that set. When you are ready to make your cookies, pull out one of your discs, get your rolling pin and grab a baking tray. Using two pieces of baking paper, you want to roll out your sugar cookie dough until it's about the length of your baking tray. Now it will be a little bit firm to start with because it has been in the fridge and it is set, but it will soften very quickly. So persevere with rolling it out. Don't feel like it's too hard and let it soften because then it's gonna to get too soft and you're gonna have trouble rolling it out. So persevere with rolling it out, get it to the size of the baking tray. So it's a good thing to cut your baking paper to the size of the baking tray, it gives you a good guide. And I have my guides there on my rolling pin as well so I don't roll that sugar cookie dough too thin. Once you are happy with how you have it rolled out, place it onto your baking tray, try not to get it on your arm, and then you can put it in the freezer for at least 15 minutes to half an hour. When you pull it out, just remove the top layer of baking paper. Your cookie dough will be nice and firm. You can get whatever cutter you're planning on using. Today I'm using hearts, and we will just press out our sugar cookies ready for baking. So put your baking tray back over, put a piece of baking paper on there and you can press them out. They're lovely and firm. So as you can see, I'm not having to really fiddle with them and be careful lifting them off the paper. They're not breaking apart as I'm pulling them up because they're nice and firm. Continue to do this. Once you've used up that dough, just roll it out again and cut more sugar cookies as you want them. If you find that your dough is getting a bit soft, roll it back out flat, put it back in the freezer for another 15 minutes and continue on that way. Then you're going to bake it in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius, fan forced or 180 degrees. And you're going to want to bake them for 10 to 15 minutes. Here are the sugar cookies all finished. It's that easy. You can decorate them. Look, puppy love cookies. You can turn them into Baymax cookies, superhero cookies. I even have some lovely Mickey Mouse cookies. Make sure you check out what you can do with them on this channel.